Good evening, my friends. Welcome to today's video. And today I have a weird, mysterious disappearance story for you. So this disappearance story takes place in France in 1922. There was a little girl named Pauline Picard, and at the age of two, she disappeared from her family farm. The authorities were notified as soon as the parents noticed that the little girl was missing. They did an extensive search of the area and couldn't find any trace of the little girl. Fast forward a couple days later and the police receive a call saying that they found a little girl matching Pauline's description, but she's in a town 320 kilometers away. The police notified Pauline's parents and Pauline's parents went to go see if this little girl was theirs. When they got there, they confirmed that the little girl was their missing daughter. So now this is where the story gets a little bit strange and mysterious. Everything goes okay for about a month until a neighboring farmer stumbles upon something quite disturbing. The neighbor stumbles upon a mutilated and decomposing body of what looks to be a young girl. It neatly placed next to the body were a set of clothing. Again, the authorities were notified and they showed up on the scene along with a lot of other people from the town, including Pauline's parents. Now the weird thing is, the clothes that they found next to the decomposing body, Pauline's parents identified as the clothes that Pauline was wearing when she went missing. Now mind you, when Pauline first went missing, they searched the entire area. They didn't find her body or the set of clothing. So this means that the decomposing body that they did find must have been placed there fairly recently. To make things even more strange, next to the decomposing body of the little girl, they found a skull of an adult male. To this day, this remains an unsolved mystery in France. The police were never able to identify the body of the little girl that they found decomposing, and they also weren't able to find out where the skull of the adult male came from. So this case is just completely crazy in so many ways. So one, if the body that they found is the body of Pauline and she is dead, then who's the little girl that's been with the family for the past month? I mean, the family went to this other town and identified that little girl as their own. So the little girl must have looked like their daughter, right? And second, they even say that um, the girl that they identified as their daughter was their daughter. Then whose body is it that is decomposing in their yard? And also, why are Pauline's clothing next to the body? The clothing that she went missing in. There's a lot of things that just don't make sense. I like, I, I love unsolved mysteries like this. I love to read about them, but they frustrate me so bad because I want to know what really happened. What is going on? Who is the little girl that the family took in? And what really happened to Pauline? Is that her body? Is she dead? Did somebody kill her? And this family just took in a stranger or, I mean, I don't know. You know, you hear about the stories of like doppelgangers and stuff like that. I mean, could it be a doppelganger of the, the little girl that had died? Or it's just somebody that looks really similar to her. And last, where does the adult skull come into this? They said that they found the skull of an adult male next to the little girl's decomposing body. So where does that come into play? Did the killer killed both of those people? I, I don't get it. What do you guys think happened to Pauline? Do you think she is safe and sound with her family? Do you think she's dead? Do you think um, there's an imposter living with the family? I wanna know, what do you guys think happened? If you know anything more about this story, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, you should really subscribe. I do paranormal videos on Wednesday and Friday, and then on Sunday I do like a weekly vlog. I hope you guys have a good day, and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye.